God's will that you don't stay at the same level that you are year after year after year in Christ. You are to grow, to develop your faith. Uh, you are to fight the good fight of faith. And just like in the natural, when you grow in your physical body as a child, you experience growing pain. So in a real sense, as you grow spiritually, you're going to experience some pain. And part of the pain will be persecution. And what is a persecution? It's a pressure. It's a tribulation. It's something many times you're being opposed. You're being hindered. Uh, you're being slandered. People are judging you in a way that is not correct. You're being talked about. You may be being mocked for your faith. The scripture says for us to endure that. And that if we will, if we respond correctly to the persecution, if we don't uh, react in kind, in other words, if somebody's coming against you and persecuting you, you don't want to come against them. You want the Lord to deliver you. The purpose of persecution and tribulation is to wear the saints out so that you will simply get weary, you will become discouraged, and you'll give up. Do not do that. If you're not experiencing persecution, you need to look at that and ask you yourself why you're not. So uh, 2 Timothy 3, 11 through 12 says, what persecutions I endured. Persecution is going to come. Usually it's going to come through people. Uh, sometimes it's through situations or circumstances. Sometimes it is through your own thought life. But persecution is going to come and you're going to have to endure that. In other words, you cannot bow down to persecution. You have to move through it and endure it. And as you do that, you're going to get stronger in your faith and you're going to carry a greater anointing, a greater authority as being a Christ follower. You need to pray for those who persecute you and those who use you in a despiteful way uh, because the Lord actually, He looks at people, He sees that, and by everything people are saying against you, He will judge that. But when you endure persecutions like that on the earth, the scripture says that great will be your reward in heaven. And that's a good thing to weigh because you trust the Lord and you know that God is for you. He's not against you. And you're going to grow through this time of endurance. You're going to get stronger. You're going to be able to crucify your flesh and actually your anointing in you is going to expand. You live a life that glorifies the Lord no matter what is being said. And in time, the good works that people will see, it's going to silence the foolishness of people. So I really warn you, don't try to retaliate against your enemies when you're being persecuted. Be quiet and let the Holy Spirit lead you. Wait on the Lord's salvation and the scripture says you, you will be delivered and you'll see it and you will rejoice because God is who he says he is. He loves you. I mean, because you're for his righteous cause, he is going to bless you and he is going to vindicate you, but you have to wait for it.